They're like, what do you think? Is that going anywhere? There's a link down below if you want the product. It's not attached to my truck right now, but we will install it in this video, throw a bike up to it, mount some other stuff up to it, let you know my thoughts on it. I think it's a pretty awesome product. You got some storage panels on the inside which help complement this even further. This is the Molly panel and the grid and lock system from uh, Rough Country and grid and lock combined. So obviously the only other option would be to get something here which honestly, you probably could do a molly panel there, but I think the little soft rack that we're about to install in this video will give you some good options and it's versatile because you can move stuff around. You'll see I mount a shotgun to it just because I didn't have anything else. I know I'm an asshole, I always have, I never have actual stuff to mount. Well, I did have a bicycle, but then I just have guns or a flamethrower. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below just for your advantage if you want to see these videos more frequently. Just for you. If not, clear your cookies. You'll never see me again. See this bicycle? We've got a little item to show you. Involving this bicycle. What could it be, you ask? Well, we're going to open it up so I can show you. But it's a bike rack that goes in the back. Man, this is salty. i got to wash this. It goes on the back of this. Lay this bike down for a second. And you can get in here and check this out. We can get out of the way. I always end up having some sort of knife on me. It's like Christmas every time we open one of these. Alright, so it's black, it's padded, it's got padding. Boom. Amazon listing will be above, uh, well, right here, and also in the link below in the description in the link below. But come get a close up on this. You can see you've got some compartments, storage, one little deep one right there, moderately large size one right here, and another. Now, I'm not a huge fan of putting stuff up against my paint, but if you want to do that, this has a bike rack ordering it too, and this is brand name right here. Consunus. And the way this straps up, there's no instructions, but it should be pretty easy to do. Yeah, it just, okay. I think this goes on your tailgate. And I would imagine what is upright would be the pockets. Okay, so they'll go on the inside, these ones, and then you have this here. I guess it goes up there, just like that. So we've got all of this. It's not strapped in yet, but once it's laid out, I believe this is exactly how it goes with the padding up top here. It's not inside out. That's the inside. Let's prop the tailgate down and then we'll be able to throw her on there, strap her in. So once that's down, I would imagine you're gonna just lace these through here. Like that. So I'm just gonna fish them through obviously the tailgate and that. When you get them all in, you should be able to flip this up. So now we can throw it up and these should be hanging through. That's better. Yep, they are. All four of them. And just give them a tug and then they just strap in right up top through there. These clips are pretty solid. Once you get this cinched down and it's tight, it's not going anywhere. Up. Just lace these through on all four of them. And just pull them tight. I imagine they're good to go after that. I imagine these are good to go after that and then 
right up here. And then this, this is a uh, That makes more sense. Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. All right, so the reason why I have the bike, sure there are instructions, we can check this out, but close it. The bike's got a mount up the top, or like that. So if you got something, Slide it right through here. And bam. You could do it just like this. I'm not gonna strap it all the way in. I'm gonna take it out real quick. You can do what we did before. Or you can pop this in like that. And use these straps. So it's got one, two, three of these. You can just shoot this lasso, this little long piece up here, up, pull it all the way through. And we aren't using these for anything. We can just cinch it under here. And if you had another bike, pop it up up here. But this, that ain't going anywhere like that. I mean, there's different ways you can do it on here. But once you get locked in, pretty good to go and you know say if you want to tighten this down the way these work it's just a typical restriction right there so boom and it's on you can get electrical tape and you know fasten this down however you want or throw it in whichever way it doesn't matter uh, just make it look pretty or whatever and that's pretty much it it's pretty locked down there like what do you think is that going anywhere yeah no it, no that's, that's, that's that's a lot better than how I had it before. Um, I'm sure you could mount one bike like that, but this actually works really well. And this is, I, I like this earlier. I was like, you know what? You would just need like paint, paint protection film or something, but this honestly works. So yeah, have all this other stuff in there. And uh, I like that. What do you think about this? Cool. Looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah. I have a little grab handle here. Also, the cool thing on the inside is the storage pockets. I think those are sweet. That pretty much sums it up. And the way to take this out, if you can do it with one hand, you can see that it's pretty simple, but yeah. I mean, obviously it's easier to do with two hands, but it is very possible. Once you get that, just need to keep pulling this out. Boom. Pull this. Comes right off. You want to get this off. I probably, there's a, definitely a better way to secure that, but is what it is. And then just lift her up. And it's out. So, there you have it. I like the quality. I like the feel. I like the look of it. Not a bad price point. I like it. Also, another good application is... You can use this as a gun mat if you want to. So, don't judge my clandestine ammo hiding tactics. Stuff's expensive now, a days. But yeah. Since my bicycle is just oddly shaped and the pedals come down, then they tend to veer down in this area near the uh, tailgate where the padding uh, falls short. It's Still pretty cool, like inside here, you got all this space, obviously with the other racks, but you have all this storage pouches and whatnot for whatever. Probably not a bad idea, say if you're going out to the range or if you're going hunting or something, really good. And if you want to mount a bike, you have all these straps, all these adjustments to mount everything as you wish. If you want to, you can. So 
pretty cool if you want it it's down below check it out i figured i'd just show you guys this thing real quick these guys sent us a product out and uh yeah if you want it amazon qualifies for prime free two-day shipping comes right off if you don't care i mean if me personally i don't want my tailgate to get scratched up and i feel like it's just a little too too close for comfort to be doing that if that makes any sense but like i'm i it just it gets my ocd just i'm thinking of wind i'm thinking of stuff spraying through it but it does look cool it definitely looks cool and i like the pouches on the inside i like the pouches on the inside a lot and if you want to take this off i mean it's cold out here my fingers are fucking frozen so it's a little hard for me to have any sort of dexterity to them but uh comes right off feels like good quality it's just that you know typical what what is this nylon probably sort of nylon polyester so you know it's not like it's some random material it's stuff that'll last if you're gonna be taking it out leaving it out or whatever uh, I wouldn't leave this on the back of my truck forever, but if you're using it for a weekend or whatever, I could see me using this. And then you just pop this up. I like that. That's cool. I still access everything. And then this just slides right back out. So there you go. Uh, the padding up here, pretty thick. What's that? You've seen it. Let me know what you think down below. That was the whole install. I don't have it on right now because I'm not I'm not gonna go driving around, ripping around with that. A, it's gonna get muddy, and also, I don't want to scratch this. Very quick fix to that, just PPF, the tailgate. You'll never have to worry about that. I'm about to do that just because it's kind of a badass idea. I like it. I like it a lot. To the point where I would probably rock that thing on my truck more often than not, given the application of when I need those storage panels and also the bike racker to mount anything else to the back. So with that said, the link's down below if you want it. Let me know what you think. I think it's a cool product. Not a bad price point for extra storage. That's if you need to store all that stuff if you already have storage filled up everywhere else because, you know, it'll get to a point where we have way too much storage. <laughs> there's nothing left to store. <laughs> but aside from that, let me know if there's any other videos you guys want me to make. Comment down below. DM me, whatever, Instagram, all that stuff. And uh, have a nice day.